There's nobody here yet, but we're here. So we're going to give everybody a second to show up. If anybody shows up at all before we start, you know, doing stuff. Gabriel, tell everybody good morning. There's a couple people here. Hey Gabriel, can you can you say Mogol? <laughs> can you say Mogol? Oh my goodness. Eh, I lost it. Eh, damn it. I should have put a bib on you. Can you say Margo for us, Gabriel? He's not very talkative now. A few minutes ago, he was all over the place. Mixed in with a little bit of screaming. Kind of zoned out, huh, buddy? Hi, everybody. A few people said they wanted to see my face in the live stream. Why, I don't know. But here it is. I'm trying to get this. There we go. Pretty quiet morning here so far today. He woke up about 7.30. You biting that spoon? Woke up in a good mood? Thank you. If you guys don't follow Sarah on Instagram, uh, <laughs> we've, had, we've been on Black Eye Watch. Um, last Wednesday, about a week ago, Gabriel head-butted me right here, you know, right in the the eye socket. I don't know what you call what you, this the technical term for this, but right here, at the edge of the eye socket, and uh, it immediately felt like I was going to die of something. Uh, the pain <laughs> was was pretty terrible. Bum, 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 bum. And within a few hours, it was pretty swollen. Um, <laughs> um, 
it was swollen pretty bad. The next day it started to turn blue. Uh, the day after that it was pretty black. Zara's been posting it on her in her Instagram story, the uh, black eye watch. But um, so it's actually gotten a lot better. It's just kind of limited to, to right here now and right here. But uh, yeah, he <laughs> it went from you know black to blue to green. I've had all kinds of. Fortunately, though, when I'm when I'm awake enough my eyes are typically <laughs> my eyes are open like this and it's not real obvious not real easy to uh see it hey buddy crazy no let's not do that so anyway, it's getting much better. Brow bone? No. I think there's a more technical term for it than that. But you could be right. Uh, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on like halfway through season nine of ER. It seems like I would know. I'm binge watching ER. What do you think it is? Right there. What is that? Yeah, right there, right there. Right there, right there. So yeah, I have a black eye. It's not my first one. For fortunately, let me let me preface. Let me say, fortunately, none from uh, altercations. Mostly just stupid decisions that resulted in me with a black eye. One example, playing racquetball without protective eyewear. You trying to, you offering them some food? Hmm? Hmm? You hold baby in that spoon? I also was also told to open this up to questions. So if you got any questions, which I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what questions you would have, but uh, feel free to ask them. Ready? Ready? And I'll answer them to the best of my ability. <gasps> He's almost done with his oats, so I may step off camera and start cutting up some apples, but we'll keep talking. Did anybody win the lottery? Did any of my friends win the lottery last night? Gabriel, can you say armadillo? Can you say armadillo? Armadillo? He's real focused on these oats. Hey, <laughs> sweet boy. That had to go in my mouth, didn't it? Can you say Upshaw? Yeah. Upshaw? Here. Can I see your spoon? Can you say Upshaw? Okay. Yes. So the answer to that question is he can. He can say Upshaw when he wants to, which is what how we kind of explain most of the things. He can do a lot of things and say a lot of things when you, when he wants to. When we want him to, Upshaw. Can you say Upshaw?
cover your mouth when you cough. You're gonna cause permanent damage, kid. We need this thing to get you through college. <laughs> well, glad I took the time to get that ready. Hey, you got more oats in here, buddy. Gabriel is going to be a fish, Mogaw, and we're all kind of kicking ourselves that we didn't realize this, but Mogaw did find a costume that was worn by his cousin several years ago for Halloween. Um, we actually have a picture of his cousin in the fish costume from several years ago. So a few days ago after the last live stream, uh, Mogaw sent him a, um, or sent us a text message and said, uh, you know, Laurel, who is um, our cousin, not cousin, sister-in-law, I'm sorry, it's, we should do these, these chats a little later in the day. <laughs> Laurel has a costume, Sarah's sister, in, our sister-in-law, has a costume and that, that Mogol is going to send it to us. So all that jumbled up story to say, superhero Mogol found us a costume that was actually already in the family. You're not done yet, you've got a little left. So we do have a fish costume now. She sent it yesterday. Can't wait for it to be in, to be here. Uh, I think if my days are correct, our next our next uh, breakfast chat with Gabriel will be on Halloween. So who knows what fun things we may come up with? <laughs> <laughs> you silly! You silly! You want some apples? You want some melon? I will be right back. Actually, I'm still here. I'm just... So we're very excited about Gabriel being a fish. Now Sarah and I are going to find our our costumes, which are going to be um, either SeaWorld employees or like a um, Petco employees. You know, something related to people who take care of fish. And that it's a little easy. It's still, it's an easy costume, but it's, you know, cute family costume. Are you mesmerized? Are you mesmerized? Can you just not believe it? Y'all, this kid eats apples like a chipmunk. 
storing nuts for winter. Hey, it's one right here. Apple. Don't want those? You want this one? Hi, Pam. So, yes, right now the plan is to do a little bit of trick-or-treating. We're going to, um, yeah, and Aunt Vicky doesn't know this yet. We're going to go to Aunt Vicky's house first. And then... We'll go to her house, trick-or-treat at her house, and then if she's got any houses around her that she would like us to uh, go to, we'll go to those houses. Then we're gonna go over to Aunt Susie's house, and we're gonna trick-or-treat at Aunt Susie's house, and any of the houses around there, because we used to live there, um, and you know, if there's any, if there's anybody that she thinks uh, might have my room, have a baby body. Are we back? We're back. <coughs> so yes, we realize that it's not just about, it's not just about, um, there's a lot of apples on your tray here, buddy. us it's other people wanting to take him around um candy i doubt it i don't think uh <laughs> so if any of you know sarah uh can't i doubt it i doubt he'll have any candy because she's not she's not a real big fan of him having candy but thing is gabriel doesn't really like sweets you got some skin I'll take it. Thank you. Gabriel doesn't like sweets. He, um, we have given him cake, ice cream. Um, you guys, I've posted pictures of him eating ice cream before, and he's just not really a fan. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if, I don't, I don't know, we might try like maybe a candy bar or something. Um, there you go. No skin. Hey, is it Keith and Abby or do I have just Keith or do I have just Abby? AKA our life. Sorry, this is uh He will eat apples with skin, but he eats them like this, where he'll like, if you can tell. But then if I peel it before I start to give it to him, I mean, he's just slamming in the pieces. That's right, slamming them in, you show him. Good morning, Keith. It's good to have you this morning. Mm. Now you eating the melon? He got up at about 7.30. Oop, I'm not in the video now. He got up about 7.30 this morning. 
but I was able to kind of leave him in there. Um, uh, I was able to leave him in the bed until about mm, 745 ish. Here you go. You got lots of apple on here, buddy. Let's get some of those too. This is, you have apples. You have apples right there, buddy. Oh, Sarah's here. I did not expect Sarah. Sarah's big and important at work. And now there are people that um, work with her. She manages. And they are coming in today to learn the Sarah method, as I call it, of how to do things. And so... She is, uh, she's going to be working with, with these two ladies that now answer to her on, on, uh, the, to figure out the best, the best way, the most effective way to get the job done, combining, uh, what the, their methods and Sarah's methods. What you want? Here, just take this big piece. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try it, Aunt Vicky, but I'm pretty sure it won't work. You know, we have not given him peanut butter yet. We don't know if he is, um, we're pretty sure he's not allergic to peanuts um, because he's had foods that were like, kind of had nuts in them and stuff like that. Thanks. But we've never like outright given him peanut butter. Yeah, Sarah says he's had trace amounts. So... But if we want to go and park in the uh, urgent care, the pediatric urgent care parking lot, and then, like, give him a little bit of peanut butter. And if he swells up and starts to have a reaction, we can run inside and get it fixed. And if, we, uh, if he doesn't, then awesome. We can go home. That's another thing off our plate. What are you doing? Hey, say good morning. Good morning, my PB&J. That's Margaret, Penelope, and Bash. We like to watch their videos. We like to watch everybody's videos, to be honest. I can put y'all on, and uh, Gabriel will sit there and just stare up at the TV, as long as his attention span lets him. And he runs around, and he comes back, and he watches. Yes, yes, Mama, that is a giant piece of apple. He's been eyeing it, so I just took it off the plate and gave it to him. If he had a reaction to the banana, it wasn't um, it wasn't a lasting reaction. He used to have uh, his banana banana used to for those of you who don't know banana used to make his eczema flare up, make it worse. Um, we've been slowly introducing banana back in, and last night at dinner we just gave him a whole banana, and he loved it. He was a little splotchy during bath time, but. I also think sometimes the warm water could do it. 
Does he have anything patches on his face? That one. Do I have patches on my face? Dada. Yep, Dada. Can you say porcupine? Dada. Porcupine? Dada. Porcupine? Dada. Porcupine. Porcupine? Upshaw? Upshaw. I don't, I don't think he reacted to uh, the banana bad enough to prevent him from having banana. A little eczema baby. This is emo, Gabriel. Sarah says we're never, ever cutting his hair. Hey, can you say porcupine? Mm. Armadillo? Armadillo? Apple. Well, thankfully we have had no hives. <clears throat> He does, uh, several months back, we took him to the doctor and she noticed it. We took him for something else and she noticed um, that he was really scratching his stomach and his chest and everything. And he's never had hives, but he's had slight rashes and stuff like that. He's <laughs> really getting into that. But just patches, just red, red patches. <coughs> Too much apple? I don't think he cares for the skin. <laughs> hey, that's not how we eat them. You want some more? I'll be right back. Hey, Keith, thanks for joining us. That's awesome to have you guys this morning. Bye, Aunt Vicky. Sorry, you guys, we've been having a lot of connection issues this morning. It's kind of been all over the place. It's a little frustrating. Sarah's got to go. She's got to go be a boss. Gabriel's word for melon. Money. Money? Money? Ah, ah. Is it too hard? Is that why you don't like it? He's kind of rejected this melon we got. Bye, Susie. Thanks for watching.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Are you a walrus? Mogal said you're a walrus. Chipmunkin. If I peel the apples, he'll cram the entire slice into his mouth before I can get another slice cut. Just like this. Are you a fish man? Um, hey, did you eat it already? Here, look at this one. Apples. Here you go. Bye bye. You're saying bye bye? Is that are you telling everybody you're ready to be done? Can you say, Mogo? Bye bye. Bye bye. Mogo? Bye bye. Bye bye. We're trying. He said it once. I have not gotten a clear Mogo out of him since. Mogo? <laughs> bye bye. We also have to pace him because otherwise he'll fill his mouth with apples and not swallow. Uh, the other day, a couple weeks back, he crammed his mouth full of apples and ran around the house for uh, what, like a solid hour, just steadily drooling um, apple drool all over the house. I followed him around with a Clorox wipe because I could not get him to swallow and I couldn't get my finger in his mouth to scoop some of it out. <laughs> I couldn't scoop it out. So my choice was to just monitor the situation. My option. That had oats on it. <laughs> so my, I just followed him around with the Clorox wipe and I wiped to the floor with little dribbles of uh, apple. It's pretty gross. This is an apple. <laughs> I think Mogol needs a YouTube channel. And it needs it needs to be her following around Papa Shark. For years we've said that Papa Shark, Sarah's dad needs his own TV channel uh, TV show. Well, that's why God gave us YouTube. <laughs>